Hi crafty friends, Lacey here, the Cheeky Bum, and I just wanted to share some outgoing um, swaps that I have created. Um, this is actually for a swap that I've hosted over on Instagram, and it's called like the Slim Embellishment Box, like I say Christmas Slim Embellishment Box or Slim Christmas Embellishment Box. I don't even know. It was a while ago. But anyway, I had two partners, but I had somebody contact me and said that they made one and they still wanted to join. So I made a third. So these are the boxes I created. Um, I had these two and then I, I created a third and yeah. <laughs> so this is what they look like. This one is just kind of like a red, pink, white theme, but basically they're all the same. And this is what the embellishment box looks on the inside. Um, and then these ones are like this. So this one is from what I use. I used a mixture of paper. I think this one is um, Park Lane. Yes, Park Lane, Nice List, and a mixture of like the peppermint um pad from Michael's last year and this one is candy brights um from recollections anyway so that's this one and this is what they look like on the inside um these two insides are slightly different um I should have made them all the same but I had technically already made this box um if you've watched my video on how I created this box, uh, you'll see I had like a black prototype and then I worked on this one and I liked it, um, but I knew that I wanted to work with the Candy Brights collection. So I did um, these two. And when um, the girl had contacted me and said that she still wanted to do the swap if I was able to find her a partner, I said, don't worry about it. I have one like in the making. So I just used this one instead of creating another one of these. So that's why there's like two different collections. But anyway, um, like these two do have a different inside just because I used the strips. But my box, I pull out the box. The cover box looks like this. I did a box instead of a sleeve because I knew I wanted to make uh, the top of this with a little bit of dimension and sometimes like the sleeve could have snagged on that. So that's why I went with this type of box. And this is what the embellishment box looks like. I have just a variety of stuff. So I have some little uh, resin Christmas trees. I have some snowflake beads. Um, I have some candy beads and some candy cane beads. This one has some gingerbread men, some Christmas lights, and these Christmas lights that I have little jewels in them. I have some like furry pom pom beads and a whole bunch of beads i did not wire wrap them just because you know some people are girl like gold girlies some are silver and i wanted them to be able to and i'm not a big wire wrapper anyway so that way they can kind of just do whatever they want but i gave a mix of like things that kind of went along with this collection so reds and whites you know basic christmas but i also have some pinks some teals little disco balls just cute little beads and this one I have candy beads and under here are just a little bit of some of like these little candy die cuts um, of all different shapes um, that they can use and then in this one I have more of these snowflakes so these snowflakes on here are actually oh do I have the empty bag they're like the small version of these ones. So these ones are the bigger version. But these are snowflakes from Hobby Lobby. I got these last year, like on, like after Christmas. So I think they were like 80% off. And I'm so glad that I did because I actually want to grab more of the mini ones. So what I did with these um, snowflakes is I just dyed them with alcohol ink into all different colors that kind of matched the Candy Brights collection. So that's all I did. I just kind of, I put them in a little dish, 
uh, I think I might have a little, I don't know if I have a video or not, but anyway, <laughs> I put them in a little dish with some alcohol ink and just kind of swirled it around until they were covered and I like laid them out to dry and that's how they turned out and I really, really like them. I think they turned out good. Um, I also have some just resin um, snowflakes in here as well. So that's what I have there. And then, um, and the red and pink one, I put all the same stuff, but I think that her, um, snowflakes, did I stay? Yeah, I stay. So I did, oh, I gave her a couple different colored ones, but I have reds, pinks, and whites mainly, um, in there so that it kind of went along with this. So that way she can take these off and use them if she wants you know i don't mind if people use the packaging um in other ways if they want i think that's what crafting is like you know the, the likelihood that she's just gonna leave this alone i mean is high but you know i want you to be able to use it if you can in your crafting so those are the embellishment boxes that i made i also made memdexes so I have a couple using the Candy Brights collection. Um, I just created like a hat on, on like my Cricut and cut it out. This is faux fur from the Dollar Tree. I just made like a little, you know, Memdex stand. I did some ho-ho-ho, some jingle bells, and um, some trees. I kept it kind of simple, but yet, you know, something there. And then hers, uh, one uh, is like the red, white, and pink. So they kind of all match. So I have that. And then I, well, I don't know why, but I had, like, I've been on a pom-pom kick and I wanted to create pom-poms. So I created these wands and they say, hey, Santa. And they're like the, yeah. I don't know why, but I wanted to create, I had the pom-pom and then I come across uh, something on Pinterest that had like a banner and um, I kind of went with that idea and made it Christmassy and kind of made it my own. I just thought that this would be really cute on packaging or whatever else they want to use with it. I do have two different versions. So I have a couple this one and then a pink one but one of my girlies said that she wasn't a pink a big pink girly so that's why I made two red ones and then I made one that was pink and red and mint so yeah that's those are the little wands I made um I'll probably like when I package them up that'll probably be attached to the boxes like part of the packaging I think that was my whole like idea behind it and I also made these little like movie packs so I was inspired a little bit like I had already started like the hot cocoa packs um I'll show you what they look like in just a second um but then I seen somebody put like make a hallmark movie kit and I was like oh that is so cute and I had already had the hot cocoa packs um done up so I just added candy and popcorn so now they have a movie night like date night if they want or you know they can share with their kids so it's got popcorn it's got candy this has got hot cocoa tea and some stirs and then there's candy on the side so this is a hot cocoa candy cane you got some lightsabers light life savers not lightsabers and some Hershey kisses so I just thought that those are really cute so I will show you exactly what I did so I just made this like little movie tag in Canva and uh, put some iridescent sticker film on top and this is what I had originally made were just like these little boxes and it says, so in here I have a couple stir sticks so this one is a double chocolate and then this one is chocolate with marshmallows I have teas in here so I have a a sugar cookie tea and a candy cane tea and then I also have a hot cocoa pack so that's what I have in there um, so yeah so now they can have some hot drinks 
They have popcorn, they have candy, everything you need for a movie night. So now I just gotta package this one up all nice like I did these ones. Um, and I'll probably like gift wrap everything and put it in a box and mail it out to them. So that is what I have. Um, I probably would have tried to make some more, but you know, it's holidays and I have more swaps to do. So, you know, I think this is good. Technically, the only thing that is required in this swap is just the embellishment box. And that's it. Anything out extra is just extra. Um, so I, you know, I went a little bit above and beyond, but I'm sure that I will get, you know, j just the same amount in return. So that is what I made for the, I'm pretty sure it's called the Slim Christmas Embellishment Box. I think so. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. If not, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.